Hey everyone, it's Max Story. Uh, today I just want to take a few minutes to to share a story with you about formal authority versus moral authority. If you read a lot of my posts and any of my books, you know that I talk about that a lot. And I, one thing I say is moral authority, basically influencing others because of who you are, your character, will always trump formal authority. Someone with position, title, and rank, that sort of thing. So what I want to share with you is a story from from back in my process improvement days. Uh, you may or may not know I have over 11,000 hours between 2005 and, and 2012 leading leaders and their cross-functional teams through process improvement, organizational change, and cultural transformation. So a lot of times when I'm speaking from the stage, this is a story that I'll, I'll share to make the point of how moral authority makes such a huge impact relative to formal authority. So I was in this company, in this plant, a manufacturing facility, and uh, I was leading one team, and you got to imagine, you know, there's a superintendent who is over multiple supervisors who are over team leaders who are over departments. So I'm, I'm talking with a superintendent, and I'm leading one team in one area, but I need some support and help from another department, another team that I've worked with in the past. And I'm an outside consultant at the time. I come in for a week, Monday to Friday, and, and lead a team through process improvement in this case, increasing productivity and that sort of thing. So I asked the superintendent, he was the type of leader, insecure leader, who uh, I had to ask permission to go talk to the other department or he'd be offended. So I made sure I wanted to build trust and, and a relationship with him. So I did what he expected, which was come ask his permission to talk to another department. Uh, even though I don't like that myself, that's the way it was. So I went up and asked him, I said, hey, I need to go talk to these folks and ask them a question. He says, he said, yeah, that's fine. That's no problem. He said, but you'll have to wait. I said, how, how, why do I have to wait? He said, well, none of them speak English, so I'm going to have to go get an uh, interpreter for you so you can talk to them. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, do you mind if I go wait over there? Just send the interpreter over to the department and I'll be over there waiting. He said, yeah, that's fine. So I walk up to the department. I know these people. I've been working there with them before. And I ask them if they can help me. They tell me yes. And I don't speak Spanish. I speak English and country, not Spanish. And so uh, what I knew, though, was they speak English to me all the time. I had developed moral authority. My character, my relationships with them, they trusted me. But this formal authority leader, he thinks none of these people in this department can even speak English. That's, that's what formal authority got him. They got him a team of people that won't even speak to him because they don't have to. They can speak through an interpreter and, and pretend they can't speak English. So I had much more influence with these people. And by the time the interpreter got there, I just simply said, uh, uh, sorry, you had to come out here. We've already got it taken care of. And we just went on about our business. I didn't tell the superintendent they could speak English. I didn't tell the interpreter. I just made it happen. And... Uh, all based on moral authority. So that's what I'm talking about. That's just one example of thousands that I can give you of how moral authority trumps formal authority. You can have formal authority, but you need to lay it aside and learn to lead with moral authority. And what will determine who you can lead and how much you can influence based on moral authority is who you are as a person. Whether you have a position or title is irrelevant. It's all about your character. So I hope you got a, a, a little lesson out of this uh, three, four minute story. And I hope you have a great day. Check out uh, bluecollarleadership.com for a bunch of free resources. Make sure you go to the home uh, button and look under media. There's a lot of podcasts there, but there's also videos and you can download quite a few chapters of my books there. So thank you guys for following along. And uh, remember, moral authority trumps formal authority. Not sometimes, every time.